it is a Saturday, the Saturday morning before we're heading out on our next trip. Now, I'm looking forward to telling you guys where we're going to go, but I, uh, I sort of wanted to leave it a little bit of a surprise as to what we're going to get up to. Should be something or a little bit different anyway. On my perspective, it will be. I'm going to be um, riding in style, but it's. Um, I haven't actually checked these bearings properly um, since I've had the boat. I've given them a shake and everything before each trip, and they've seemed all right. And touch wood, they've been okay for most of the time. But I'm here at um, Jared's um, at Jared's family's uh, transport business uh, headquarters. I guess you'd say countrywide. Um, house transporters absolute bloody um, salt to the earth they're just like Jared well Jared's learnt everything from his uncles and his dad and everything you know about they're so bloody generous they'll give you the shirt off their back type of thing but um, I'm here at their yard and um, we're gonna we're gonna check these bearings and the trailer lights as well they've been playing up a bit lately but Jared's kindly gonna help me out and he's got a few things to do on his truck uh, that's gonna be coming on the next trip and I'll film that as well I'd like to um, uh, let you guys in on you know these little the preparations that we do for each trip you know and I'm just very lucky that I've got Jared you know and Jared's like nah come over we'll give you a hand he's a bloody legend and I thank him for it but uh, better not stuff around let's get into it so straight away I've run into a little bit of snag uh, a, a bit of a snag absolute idiot numpty here I was in BCF yesterday just getting a few little things. Um, I, I wanted just new LED tail lights for the for the trail because these, you can hear shit inside of these. I think it's got so much water in there, it's not even funny. Um, so I got these and they're not even LED. Just absolute stupidity. Didn't, I just over skipped it. Um, did, wasn't concentrating obviously, it was a Friday afternoon. But also I thought I'd mention these um, bearing buddies. They're such a great idea, Jazz. Uh, I remember having them a few uh, on a work trailer years ago, and I've never gone back to them. I've seen them on every guy's. Um, well, most people own a boat have these bloody things, but it's time I, I I catch up as well. But Jared said, you know, grab a set of these, mate. They're great just to sort of if you don't have time to change your bearings out, it can sort of stretch out another trick for you if you just pump it full of grease. So I got grease over there as well, but. Um, I'll, I'll, as I said, I'll take it off and we'll check everything. If there's nothing hectically wrong, Jazz, what do you reckon? We'll just bloody yeah, pump it. it. Yeah. Yeah. Take a spare set with us if we have to train him, but things properly done. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Looks like Milo. Are you thirsty? <laughs> you want a drink? <laughs> I'd say that might be the problem, eh? So I did forget to mention that because I had the wrong lights, I'm thinking. You absolute idiot, it's too early for um, BCF and that to be open. Jared goes, yeah, jump into my hardware store. He's got a set of LEDs there that he uh, he was going to use for another job, uh, but it didn't didn't need it, did it? It was no. a wire in the plug. No, no um, <laughs> oh, what was it? Oh, I was gonna ask, what. so what did you just suggest to me before about uh, the hub and that? Oh, Which is a sick a, idea. Um, just take a spare hub kit. Um, just in case, only because we're taking it off road. Yeah. If we snap the stud, yeah. Unless you take the spare studs to whack into the hub, but you might as well just get a whole kit. Yeah. I think they're like 70 bucks. Exactly. For the whole thing, bearings, hub, all ready to go. So. And you just never know when they're going to go. These look a little bit worse for wear, wear anyway, man. Plus, we are yanking out. Them. <laughs> See how we go.
Having fun, mate. <laughs> the amount of water that was in that tail light. Jared's even saying there's water running down the wires. Like out the out the conduit, eh, Jared? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I, I'll be honest with you, I expected to rip the bearings out today, but um, that's made it a lot easier. I've also checked the spare as well. The spare's brand new. Um, all I've got to do now is just pump them full of grease, and Jared's already pissing along with the lights. And then there's something else I wanted to show you. In case any of you guys might be having problems um, with your shower system, it could be interesting to know, but I'll, it, it's on Jared's truck, I'd like to show you that. And then during the week, I'm actually gonna get a spare hub set up, so I'll, I'll, I'll feel a lot better uh, knowing that I'd have that as well. But we'll keep going here, and then I'll show you exactly what needs to be done uh, with Jared's truck as well, so. So handy having a big workshop, eh, mate? Oh, yeah. yeah, I'd be doing it in my driveway, struggling like a prick, not having the right tools, but absolute baller. So another thing that I am so happy about um, that a lot of people were, well, not a lot of people, you know, a few people in the comments were giving me suggestions about um, the water getting into the boat. And I, I need to take this time to thank you guys for the um, all the suggestions that you gave me. And they, they bloody worked. So I took it home. I, I filled it up with water, but I remember saying in the video that I did it before that trip and I couldn't see anything. But what it was... I didn't wait long enough. I thought it was sort of going to be funneling out a fair bit, you know, judging from how much water was in it. But anyway, filled it up and just out of this sill, um, out of the bung sill here, which I've really caked up now with silicon, there was just little bit of water just coming out, you know, just at, at the um, at the top. There was like a little pinhole there. So very, very happy that it's watertight now. But it must have just been the pressure of the water or something like that, and especially over sort of 17, 18 hours, that would build up. But I am very, very confident. I even went to the, um, uh, to the, to the length of, you know, behind this mounting plate here, I siliconed all that. I siliconed all the mounting bolts up there. I went on the inside, silicon on the inside of it as well quite paranoid now but i was very worried at the time that maybe there's some sort of crack down here and yeah i don't know it, it sort of played on my mind a little bit but i i just want to take the time thank you guys so much for um uh, throwing your um suggestions in very happy all the indicators and stuff like that are working beautifully now that's been a job that's been on the list for a while and as you can see with the milo water coming out of the lights it was well overdue but very happy man right here Yeah, sick idea. So, Jazz, what's the deal with that, mate? Um, since having this hot water on the canopy, it runs at temperature for maybe half a minute or, or maybe longer, um, but then cuts out. And I never had, I had this smart tech and a dual car on the back of the Troopy and never had a drama with it cutting out. Um, but yeah, me just not reading instructions. I actually looked up why is it cutting out and being mounted on the back of the canopy, it builds up the heat. So it's thinking that it's already at the temperature or too hot, so it will cut out. Um, so I want to space it off the canopy and hopefully that solves the problem but we'll soon find out yeah did you so when you say cut out just yeah. cuts out the heat and then goes back to cool yeah, it or goes something back to cold yeah. <laughs> yeah, so in the middle of a nice warm shower and you get it getting quick <laughs> yeah, yeah pretty well <laughs> oh mint all right well let's see are you going to test it while you're here yeah yeah yep. mint all right let's check that out
unreal to think that on a truck like this, it's different than working on a car. I was saying to Jared before that it's sort of usually on the troop carrier even, that was a high car. It's usually at this height you're working. <laughs> this one here, you need a full ladder. She's about freaking six meters in the air. <laughs> start with it low and then slowly adjust it otherwise it's pumping through so much at otherwise, the start like you say yeah if you turn it off and have it already up pretty high yeah it gets there too quick and it shuts off so that airflow has made a big difference oh, hasn't yeah. it so that's sitting at 43 now yeah beautiful for what the last minute and a half yeah. two minutes and you're saying that would have cut out easily by then yeah beautiful <laughs> hey, it's like staying at bloody Crown Towers, mate. We're gonna have shovels while uh, have showers while we're at bloody broke in, broke in there. Let's do it. <laughs> yeah. No, I'm happy with that. Excellent. Forty four now. Well, that went a whole lot smoother than I thought it would. Jared's got his bloody hot water system working bloody perfectly. Uh, the Taj Mahal is ready to bloody go. I've got my rig all ready to go. Fresh trailer lights, bearing buddies, uh, bearings packed, motor touch woods running fine for now. Uh, so I guess we're going to go and enjoy the rest of our Saturday. Four more days. We'll see you on the bloody road. <laughs> I'm rev for this one, guys. <laughs> it's alright, we're past that point. <laughs> what do you do now? Do you tell yourself it's green or. <laughs> and there's a trailer Israel too. Israel, I confirm that. <laughs> She's got an A polish. <laughs> Three or four.
<laughs> well, good day guys and welcome back to a, another series. We are down in the stillest bloody part of w WA it would seem. We are uh, at Broke Inlet. Now I know I've been here before but I have a few different plans for this little series. The boys over here, there is so much uh, more water in this inlet than there was last time we were here. It's literally, um, I remember when we were launching the boats, it was sort of right on the edge of the deep stuff, so it was nice and easy to drop in. We've actually taken a walk this morning. So we actually came in last night um, at night, uh, as you'll see from the footage just before this. I hope you, I hope you enjoyed that. We, I really enjoyed doing it. So it was fun to come in. Now, as you've seen, little bit of a different setup. I'm riding shotgun um, with Jared in the truck and what an awesome experience that's been. It's really nice to sit back and just sort of chill out uh, and soak it all in while someone else is driving as bad as it sounds. We've got three tinnies here, eight people, got a couple coming down tonight. There's a heap more water now uh, in this inlet than the last time we were here so hopefully it's deeper in the channel area so as you would have seen maybe in the last series that we did do here, uh, we ran into a heap of bloody shallow spots. So the only reason we've walked up here with the lads this morning is just to find a, a, a good spot to launch the tinnies. And this seems to be the best spot because it's closest to the deep area. I mean, it's, it's probably about 300 mil deep over there. That's good enough. We can sort of just drop them in there. Um, they're not the biggest tinnies, as you'd know, so that's perfect. But I cannot wait to see what the weather's doing. Hopefully the sun comes out. There's no wind. That's what I'm happiest about. But guys, come along. Grab yourself a beer because you know it's bloody five by now. <laughs> Javelin. Okay, we are ready to go. We've got all the boats packed with all the lunch and everything. We've got three boats here. We've got Kip's boat, Adzi's little bloody, um, what would you call it? Flat bottom esky lid. I like that. <laughs> um, and we got mine over there. So um, we've packed lunch. We've packed a couple of cookers. Today, we'll, I don't know whether we'll explore uh, the inlet on the other side, that Shannon River, or whether we'll just go and check out that, uh, that island there. So if you haven't seen the previous episode, or the previous trip series we did here. Watch this one because this island's absolutely beautiful. You can pull the boats up. We've got you know a heap of meat that we're going to cook up, like pork belly. I want to I want to show you um you guys what we're having. Uh, but the way we're going to uh, order this is that's the point there, as I explained before, where we're going to launch the boats. The boat's going to be launched over there. The cars will be brought back to here to be kept at camp, and then we'll have to sort of. What is it, about 300 metres or something? I need the exercise, so we're going to have to walk up there and, um, and launch from there. So it'll be so interesting to see what the water level is out there just compared to the last time we were here because there was no water here. It was sort of 100 metres from camp and then it ducked down to the, uh, the main channel. So uh, I've spoken to Chris there. I'll, I'll explain, I'll, I'll introduce you guys to all these guys as we go. You're all familiar faces. Um, but Chris is saying that the reason the water level so high is not because it's tidal, it's because of the bloody, the amount of rain they've had down here in the last couple of weeks or months. So I am frothing. It's cold and I love the cold because I always run hot. <laughs> I won't even need to colour grade this one. Well, at least the front's not. <laughs> yep. Oh, whisk them all, Chris. Sorry, but was that? Yeah, right. that won't move. A whisk them all, brother. Back. Yeah. Here you going. Whisk them all. <laughs> yep. I mean, Sorry, I should have said ten. <laughs> Good, huh? The main man. <laughs> How are you, brother? Yeah, you are seasoned. This is the first, like, normal camp we've been on properly instead of a tinny camp. One where I've actually got to use my car, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Let's go, dude. Jump it on the side. Look at that. Angles, baby. Give it a shot. Commitment. Be roll. <laughs> First in 
Soon is our time to shine This little light of mine Say it how you feeling right now Say it how you say it Show me how I look in your heart Better it look amazing Better it look amazing Better it look amazing right now Say it how you feeling right now Say it how you say it